One of the most amazing realizations of the 20th century was that quantum mechanics combined with relativity allow something to come from nothing. In fact, nothing is unstable. Religion and theology, and to some extent philosophy, have contributed almost to nothing to our fundamental understanding of the universe. Because questions such as what is something and what is nothing are really scientific questions, not philosophical ones. When we apply quantum mechanics to gravity, the truly remarkable thing is that even space itself can be created from nothing by quantum mechanical effects. There's been a revolution in cosmology in the last 25 years. We now understand that the dominant energy in the universe resides in empty space. And that's changed everything. And in fact, it helps point unambiguously to the possibility that the universe arose from nothing. It turns out the universe we live in is perhaps the worst of all possible universes for the long-term future of life. In the far future, the universe will become cold, dark, and empty, and life will end. Nothing will once again reign supreme. Science has changed everything about the way we think about space and time. And in fact, it's told us that empty space is in fact not empty at all, but a quite complicated boiling brew of virtual particles. It's changed our picture of nothing and also of something. These questions are not the same as they were 2,000 years ago. Given our current understanding, it could be that even the laws of physics themselves are not immutable. They could have arisen spontaneously and be different in different universes. In that sense, even the laws of physics could be an accident. The far future of the universe will be very different than it is now. All evidence of the Big Bang expansion will disappear. All the galaxies we now see will be gone. And we will appear to live alone in a cold, dark, empty universe. Everything we see is just a 1% bit of cosmic pollution in a universe dominated by dark matter and dark energy. You can get rid of all the things in the night sky, the stars, the galaxies, the planets, everything, and the universe will be largely the same. Every atom in our body came from stars. In fact, the atoms in your left hand may have come from a different star than the atoms in your right hand. The elements that were created in the Big Bang were just hydrogen, helium, and lithium. But the important elements for our existence, carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, all of those things were created in the cores of stars. And the only way they got into your body is if those stars were kind enough to explode. So forget Jesus. The stars died so you'd be born. Quantum mechanics combined with relativity tells us that empty space can actually contain energy. In fact, the empty space and the protons inside your body are exactly where most of the mass of your body comes from. When we do the same calculations to try and understand how much energy there is in empty space outside your body, truly in space, we come up with an answer which is off by 120 orders of magnitude. It's the biggest mystery in science to try and understand where the energy we see in the universe comes from. We used to think, sensibly, that gravity was always attractive and therefore the observed expansion of the universe should slow down over time. But what we've discovered with the fact that empty space has energy is that instead that expansion is speeding up, getting faster and faster. It's changed everything, in particular our view of the future. Science has made it possible that the universe didn't need God, that God is redundant. That's a dramatic concept. Now, science doesn't require there not to be a God, but as Steve Weinberg said, it makes it possible to have a universe without one. And that's a central possibility which makes our current understanding of the universe totally different than it's been for the last 2,000 years.